Good day, good day. It's God Says Ministries, the House of Fire, and I'm Prophet Tevis. So I just thought uh, I'd come on and uh, just have a conversation. So uh, I've been given a, I've been given a, um, uh, not a job out to rebuild, and uh, well, <laughs> an ugly duck. I've got to turn into a princess. Check it out. So I'm gonna turn that into a princess. So it all beaten up over the years. It's probably 40, 40 plus years old that boat. But anyway, they want to modify it and turn it into something that can be used. And they're paying the price for my brother. So he's asked me to do it. Gets me out of the house here. Gets me doing something. Gets me thinking on other things, you yeah. know. And uh, of course, uh, I've got like four and a half months left in this house, or this townhouse, uh, you know. Um, I, we were blessed, my father and I were blessed, and my uncle paid the full year's rent for this because it's, you know, it's in the family, it's his wife's uh, townhouse that he bought for her. Uh, and so he paid up a full year's uh, rent uh, for myself and my father. And uh, in about four and a half months, that that uh, is done. And then I've got to find a flat or bachelor's flat. I'd like to find a nice little flat with a frontage where I can do ministry from. But, uh, you know, prices, I mean, this place... Uh, I'll never be able to afford with the electricity and the levies here. I think it's around about 12,000 Rand. It's about $900. Uh, but uh, in no ways I will afford that. Let me give you a view of the lounge here. So here's my laptop. And we've got a, let me go down here, the couch. Laptops, couches, yeah, all these couches and things are going to be divided between three of us, three boys. I just turned the worship down at the moment. Uh, I'm watching uh, the worship mob, worship mob 2021. Uh, or watching, <laughs> listening to. And then uh, it's got uh, two bedrooms uh, in it. And then... Uh, I'm standing in the kitchen, as you've seen before. I'll just turn around. The fridge is there, the little kitchen. But uh, nice, nice to have this while well, everything is hopefully getting sorted out. Your background again. Uh, no, I'm blessed. I, you know, God has been blessing me in abundance with all sorts of things. You know, I'm still battling with uh, this, what do they call it, chemical imbalance or whatever in this silly body that doesn't want to go with the soul and the spirit because the soul and the spirit is ready but the body is lagging behind. So, yeah, I've got to get out of here. Uh, this furniture has got to be divided up. Uh, amongst the three of us, well, you know, what else do I need? I need a chair, table, you know, and uh, I'll probably take the TV because everybody else has got a TV. This one's old. Uh, I need a washing machine, a bed, my bed, and my clothes. What else does a person need, yeah? Other than God, God. 
So yeah, got this job to do. Keep me busy, get my mind going again, thinking straight on the on the on the physical, you know, sort of things. And uh, hopefully, uh, soon all this nonsense with the what they call panic attacks, which I know is a spiritual attack on my system. Um, I came home from cell group uh, last night. I was fine when I left cell group. When I climbed the car and I started driving, oh my goodness. I just pray the Lord, please, please, Lord, just don't let me hurt anybody on the road. Don't let me hurt anybody on the road. I'm not worried about myself, you know, even riding to a tree or something, but don't let me hurt anybody on the road. And uh, I rolled both windows down, uh, stuck my one hand out the window, get the air to come in, you know, because it feels like you can't breathe, even though you can breathe, you know. And uh, I, I started shouting at this spirit that is messing me around, it's irritating me more than anything else, you know, because you can't really do anything when it happens. You just got to uh, fight through it, you know. I have got the tranquilizers to sleep, but you can't keep in taking tranquilizers all my day long. But I've been pretty good up to now, and normally by now I'm having the first couple of starters. But uh, it's now, what is it down here now? It is 25 to 7, 25 to 7. But now I've had at least one or two. And uh, I've been pretty good up to now, and it's stayed away for so long. So I just praise God that He keeps everything away. You know, during the day when I'm working on the boat there, I feel hundreds. It's, yeah, at the night when I come to, you know, relax and what have you, then the body decides it wants to go to the gym, <laughs> wants to run a marathon, <laughs> you know. Once swim the mile, all at the same time. <laughs> but, yeah, God is faithful, and He will pull me through it. I just believe that God is, you know, about to reveal Himself to the earth. He's about to reveal Himself to the atheist, to the politician that believed He was never coming back or was never around. He's about to reveal himself to the pastor that is sleeping, to the preacher that is corrupt, to the prophet that is corrupt, the prophets. He's about to reveal himself to the mainstream news media. He's about to reveal himself to social media. And it's going to be in a big bang, you know, the big bang theory. Well, that big bang theory is about to happen. And uh, it's going to be glorious. It's going to be glorious. The glory of God is going to touch the earth like the earth has not seen before the foundations were laid. The last time I believe the earth's sea saw that is when its foundations were laid and uh, the seas were laid out and the stars were put in the sky. That sort of glory we're talking about is going to awaken every living soul on the earth. Every living soul on the earth. And yes, there's going to be some people who still won't see it. I mean, Jesus stood right in front of them, right in front of them, them, saying and asking them, you have any ears, do you not hear? And you have any eyes, do you not see what stands right before you? I mean, he was written in Isaiah that what he would do, he was written in the Old Testament. The Word was written in the Old Testament and the Word stood right in front of them and still they couldn't see, they couldn't perceive what was right in front of them. But, as I said, there's still going to be people like that. 
even though there is going to be glorious signs and wonders around them, people are going to be like, I heard about it, but if I don't see it with my own eyes, it never happened. It never happened. God is about to touch the earth with glory. Glory that we haven't seen before. There's an awakening. Biblical awakening coming. And the thief, the devil knows it. And he's trying his darnest to try and take out as many of God's children as he can. Before he gets weighed in the balances of time and he's found wanting he's already been found wanting and he's got to pay he's got to pay back he's got to pay back what is hidden in darkness in the secret places from the wicked they've hidden away they will be paying a heavy price for the price of redemption is heavy. The price of redemption is heavy. God bless you and may his favor drip from every part of you. In Jesus' name, amen.